Okay, so we're about to head out with the anti-poaching dog team. We're going to play a bit of hide and seek. Ollie, our Willy channel manager, is going to go out and be tracked by the dog. So he's going to head out into the bush with one of the rangers and then we're going to go find him. Morning! How you doing? Good. How are you, man? You okay? Yeah, I'm ready for us? Yeah. <laughs> My name is Joseph Pieroris. I've been working with the law for the last three years. I've been working with the anti poaching unit, but I've just uh, selected recently uh, to be the commander of the dog unit. I got a team of seven men and five dogs, which are from different species. I've got two Belgian Malinois, one Dutch Hada, and two Bloodhounds. So this is Tipper. He's a bloodhound, as you can probably tell. <laughs> Look at him. So we've got Tipper and Tony. Tony. The main objective of Lewa is just to protect the wild animals and the community. Uh, more so, we are just protecting the critically endangered species, including the rhino and the elephant. 99 of the operations, the anti poaching unit have been successful. So I feel like Tony and Tipper have really just contributed a very great result uh, as far as the operation and recoveries are concerned. These dogs are so important to these guys. They have an incredible sense of smell. So Tony should have this in the bag. Ollie? Yes. Do you feel that now you should have showered today or that you should I shouldn't? feel incredibly <laughs> nervous. They're big, big dogs, so I'm gonna hide and try and get away as quick as possible. So this is what Ollie and Solomon did. These are the marks, just there. And that's the smell that the dogs are gonna go off. At the moment that we get the foot marks, the dog handler will just use the sterilized goose and when it absorbs the scent, will just use the polythene paper to put on his hand, collect the scent and give the dog to sniff about five to six seconds and that's the ghost. So Tony's off straight away. It's almost being able to see in smell. That didn't take long. Didn't take long at all. Nerve wracking though, when I saw him come over the, uh, over the ridge, it's rapid. That was amazing. That's amazing, it's good. I'm actually blown away by how good it was. How quick it was. Well, now we are not in operation, we do the tracking at Nisha and every day. You feel them like the rangers like us because uh, wherever that we get deployed, we get deployed together with them. So in the case we get maybe the, an incident within the community, when we deploy the rapid response team, we just deploy together with the, the, dog, the dog unit. By the help of Tony and Tipper, another dog will just lead us straight to where those guys are. You know, they're really one of your team, aren't yeah, they? Yeah, they are very important. I think in the world, run by Leo and NRT. Uh, as far as our main objective is to protect the people of the community and the wildlife, yeah. I think the canine unit is the most important thing uh, as far as to contribute in, in, in keeping peace and uh, wildlife safe. So we've just finished filming with the dogs. It's remarkable how good they are at picking up a scent. You know, Ollie scratches the ground with his shoe. I mean, there's nothing more than that. We were traveling through thick grass. It is only smell those dogs rely on, and it's that what makes them so damn good at what they do. Joseph and his team do an incredibly important job looking after the wildlife of Lewa. If you want to see any of our other films, including one with our guide, Wilfred, who's also a member of that team, just click here where all our Kenya films are. If you want to subscribe to the channel, just click here. And if you've got any questions or you want to leave any comments, please do just leave them in the section below. I'll try and respond to as many as I possibly can. Thanks so much, guys, and we'll see you soon.